Welcome back to Quantum Code. Have you ever played Nintendo Wii? If so, what are your favorite Wii games? I think some of the best Wii games are Mario Kart, Wii Sports, Zelda, and Super Smash Bros. But among all these games, there is one my brother and I loved so much we still play it whenever we can. This game is the tank mini game on Wii Play. You play in solo or duo as a tank. You can move, shoot bouncy bullets and drop mines. On each stage you have enemy tanks, you need to clear them off to win. I think this game is pure genius. It is extremely simple and easy to play, but so much difficult to master. And as we turned old and cringe, I decided to create a fresh and more complete game out of this ID. So here is a tank game which needs a shorter name, Devlog Zero. At the very beginning of this project, I was not planning on something big, I just wanted to try myself. And as I'm a beginner at 3D, I spent the first days watching Blender tutorials. Then I was able to create this cool tank model and add some materials to it. Exporting from Blender to Godot is really straightforward. And I want to thank Code Wisdom for his excellent tutorial on this subject. I quickly set it up a scene and added the tank model. Then I implemented the tank movement and after struggling a bit, I added a rotation effect so it faced the movement. Next step was the aiming system. I used a raycast based on the mouse position to determine where the player is aiming. I had issues with walls blocking the raycast, so I created a plane shape and made it the only object interacting with my raycast. After modeling a bullet in Blender, I added the shooting mechanic and made the bullets bounce. At this point, my tank was complete. I made it as flexible as possible, so I was quickly able to create some AI bots. My first one is turning its head randomly, and if it detects the player, it shoots. Then I created a more advanced bot using two raycasts. It shoots a bullet which bounces before hitting the player. I've set a milestone for this project. I want to create levels but also add multiplayer so you can play with or against your friends. My very first milestone is about creating more complex bots, so we will see this in the next episode. As soon as I will have a playable version of this game, I will publish it for my Patreons. So if you want early access and you want to support me, check the link in the description. I am also opening a Discord server so we can exchange about this project. See you.